Tell me what that man said, please. I said in a two weeks time, I want to buy a radio from you. All right. Something about radio from me. That's all I got. But all right, man. All right. You two, fellas. One word. Dollar vans. That's it. No space. Dollar vans. And then scroll down so you see the CB radios. Uh-oh. <laughs> Favorite dollar van one? Apache. No more squeal. Why I gotta come in, man? How the camera hears you is how every other radio out here hears you. I'm back quiet.
Check works. Gotta love stock radios with echo power mics. Such a nice, loud, clear mail report. used to have one of the loudest, clearest, most audible, nicest sounding radios out here. Now listen to it, hollow, bassy, and distorted. <laughs> I would think after a man doing what he does for over 30 years installations, modifications. I think he's qualified to know what he's talking about and to get it done right. Just playing around with this 15 watt radio around Brooklyn, New York City. My check is burgers. You know, Confucius want to give everybody a good piece of advice. Whenever you buy them brand new radios, try to find out if they have MOSFET finals or transistors. If they have MOSFETs, stay away, stupid.
You better throw that thing away, duck plucker. I think you nicked your antenna wire again. You're nothing but a squeal. Real easy to know when your antenna's in bad shape, guys. When you go to plug it in, the minute the little dick go into the hole, you got full ears. But the minute you screw that thing and it touches the back of the radio, you screw down and everything disappear. Uh-oh. Time to see Richie. A seven nine. Yeah, you're back to normal. Is your phone number uh, still the same as it always was? Loud and proud, loud and clear. Back to normal. Like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna send you a couple of texts, man. Sir, these brand new mics I got over here. Uh, I'm on the site. Well, they don't take a battery, but they're high-powered. All right, I'm going to text it to you.